As part of Black History Month, we profile a man who retired this past summer after serving over 25 years as president of Oklahoma's Langston University. This man spent over 40 years working on the Langston campus through some very turbulent times. Prior to Dr. Ernest Holloway being named president in 1979, Langston was on the brink of shutting down. Enrollment was at an all-time low and the future appeared bleak. But Holloway, with a positive attitude, managed to bring awareness of the university to students all across the nation, raising enrollment to over 3,000 and saving an institution for future generations. Our Perry Tolley reports. I didn't know whether I was going to be here, you know, one year or eternity. It turned out eternity. <laughs> Ernest Holloway recently completed over a quarter of a century as president of Oklahoma's Langston University. And I look back 26 years ago, a much different Langston University. I came to Langston in 63. Okay. So I've always wanted to be a teacher, but I knew nothing about a president. <laughs> you know, that was nowhere in my vocabulary. What makes a man continue to smile and generate positive energy after over 50 years that have not been equipped with an easy button? <laughs> I've enjoyed somehow the support almost of every segment within our greater publics. And that, you know, it's teamwork. It is people that make the difference. We always hear about today's young people and how they are so much different than those of our past. We asked Dr. Holloway to share his view. The sad part about the story today, the generations that are coming to us within the last 10 or 15 years have not enjoyed the support system before they got here. The more recent professional generation, they want to move from point A to point uh, Z in one hour. You can't do it. What will be this man's legacy? And what does it look like when you look back at your life? And I tell people, I have been lucky. I have been lucky because throughout my professional career, I have been able to serve those who have been underserved for so long. That's significant. I learned that uh, our future really rests in how well we prepare and train our youth.